please can everybody give a massive welcome to the couple of the moment right now, the hottest couple in the UK. It's Kamali! <laughs> yes, it sounds like there's like 20 people in the background here. Hello guys, how are you doing? Very good. good, thank you, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you so, so much for joining us. I know you guys are extremely busy right now. Like I said, you are the hottest couple of the moment. It's going off. Yeah, Tell exactly. us about it. It's hard. It's, hard. it's a hard life. It is a very hard life. <laughs> <laughs> how has everything been? Obviously, we're going to talk all about your too hot to handle journey, but how has it been just stepping into this kind of new world that you've got right now? It's been fantastic, to say the mm. least. Um, you know, we walk down the street and everyone's like, oh my God, can I have a picture? And it's like, oh my God, of course you can. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a different world, but I mean, like we both love it. We've, yeah. we've received so much support and love from people. Yeah, it's like just crazy like, amounts. Yeah, it blows my, like, blows my mind. It, every day, yeah, it blows my mind. Yeah. You guys have been fan favourites. I mean, like I said to you just before off air, everybody is going mad for you on social. I'm sure, well, your socials are blowing up and we'll go into that in a moment. But let's start with Too Hot to Handle. And I want to dive straight in and ask you, did you or did you not know you were going on Too Hot to Handle? Well, at the well. <laughs> prior to the show, we both had an inkling. Um, but... At, well, when we were entering the villa and the first few days, we were completely thrown off track. You know, there was a fake host. Mm. There was fake merchandise. People were wearing caps with parties, parties in paradise. Yeah, fake, fake premise. Like the whole yeah. premise to what parties in paradise was going to be. They made up this whole fake show. Said that we can hook up, get drunk. Um, uh, yeah. So yeah. they lied to our faces for like three days. By this point, like I don't know about you, but I was convinced that it was, it was, it was a completely different show. Yeah, I mean, like after about three days, I went in there thinking this too hot to handle. Then after three days, I was thinking, what what show am I on? Yeah. I was thinking what I was what, genuinely what, confused. What have I got myself into? I was thinking no one's going to watch this show. I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, no. yeah. Party paradise. Yeah, it sounds like a cracking one. Oh, yeah. And I was thinking, why are Netflix doing a like a party and drinking show? I was like, surely not. Yeah. But then things weren't adding up, you know? Like, they said we were going to get drunk every night, but yeah, we was only allowed, like, one or two yeah, drinks every yeah. night. Really? Yeah. yeah. So first night, they were like, yeah, so you can have two drinks? I was like, uh, I was like, what? I was like, what? 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 Yeah. What, what party are we going to be doing? Yeah. So, you can't yeah, they, you can't really well. get mad off two drinks, can you? No. Is it? Really. Yeah, so that. So when did it all start to obviously like unfold for you guys? I know that Lana obviously made her legendary appearance. Like how did you feel when it was announced that there was a ban? There's going to be no sexual contact, there's going to be no kissing, there's going to be no nothing. I I was literally gutted yeah. because Devastated. like we were we had plans for that night in the we bedroom. were we were gonna do the like, deed like, uh, you know because like we were you know we, we we had an instant connection which wasn't shown as much I think on the first episode really? but, like, instantly we were just drawn to each other yeah. so that made things a lot harder I think if I hadn't really found a, a connection with someone I'd be like okay yeah. a lot easier and obviously the show you guys see it's like in one day but for us it was like three mm. or four days. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, by that point we were we were read up, ready to go. Really and done. then Lana, yeah. the good old cop lock. Yeah, I was just like, she came and put a spoiler in there, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think I could tell from the beginning that you two had a connection. I know, like you say, like obviously they're produced, but I can't believe there was like them, like four days that we kind of don't see it is all put into one. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It's obviously I think people who watch it find that quite hard to believe. Like I've been asked mm. a lot, you know. Oh, what like you know was it script what happened you know why was it only 10 hours when you're there for so long and I'm like we've well, got it's, it's all for production do you know what I mean so there was that's a it. lot I think what were we there for three weeks so that's well no we were there for over two it was like nearly like, like, like four weeks 25 26 days My all condensed God. into one there's so much that you guys don't see yeah mm. and what were you guys doing beforehand because like do you kind of know that you're going to be there for that long like do you plan what you're going to do like do you know how much everything's going to blow up afterwards I guess you don't really understand what you're letting yourself in for I mean, we got given like, um, what was it, welfare treatments and things yeah. like that right. just to That's pre-warn good. us. Um, but obviously we didn't know the exact show, so we didn't know how much it was going to blow up. Yeah. Um, I suppose you, you never know. You can go in there with an idea of, I mm. mean, I went in there thinking I'm going to be a single boy, have fun. Yeah. Didn't think this, this wasn't meant to happen. So like, you know, you never know what's going to happen. I suppose we were just, I think even producers didn't realise how much we were going to get on and how much of a connection mm. we were going to make. Yeah. I feel like you two definitely, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, obviously you were in the villa, but you two definitely had the strongest connection out of everybody. 
One million percent. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah, there's no arguments there. So what no. were your first impressions of each other? Like, did you instantly like each other? I want 100 percent truth. Go on, I'm going to start with you, Emily. Yeah, so it was definitely instant attraction for me. Like, he is my type down to a T. And if I saw him in the club, that is what I'd go after. <laughs> so watching him, because he came in directly after me. So watching mm. him come up to me, I was like, that's mine. Like, yeah. that is mine. <laughs> No, it was literally the same as me. I was just like, I kind of always had this like idea of a girl that I wanted in my head, mm. and it was like, it was this, this, everything about it, like <laughs> the full you know, package. Yeah. So, what is it you call me? Cute but sexy. Cute but sexy. Yeah. So my thing is, I like a girl that's cute but sexy. You can do a bit of both, you know, fifty fifty. So mm-hmm. yeah, I walked in. I was just like, that's that's what I want. There was no two ways about it. Um, obviously, you know, when things didn't stay on track. For that long but you know we'll get into oh that. we'll talk get about that. that don't yeah, worry I'm sure, yeah, I'm we'll sure talk we're going to yeah, speak yeah, about hopefully we will I love speaking let's about it let's air it all out love we're it. not skipping anything today we're not skipping any of the details mm. but how was it getting to know each other in front of a camera because I, like obviously like you said a lot is produced so how much is real how much is kind of staged What what's it really like so it's all 100% 100% real but the only love issue that. was um, so obviously when it was like eating lunch or dinner or whatever we'd obviously have a lot of conversation going on between us mm. and we'd have to like repeat things in front of the camera yeah. so that'd be the only stage thing so like we'd have a conversation where the cameras weren't rolling yeah, yeah, and they'd yeah. say right well you need to have that conversation again because yeah. it was a cracking bit of content they're like come right, on right exactly yeah, yeah. so in the end they actually had to separate us because we were like talking too much over dinner time yeah. oh, and they got really yeah. annoyed so they would just they'd separate us because to save constant, the chat is what they call it constantly we've been separate because obviously they see a genuine connection they think right mm. this is amazing we want the audience to see this the they, set, wanna watch, they, they, they want, want to watch. They want the audience naturally. to, yeah, exactly. Watch it evolve yeah. naturally. They don't want. It, yeah. They don't want it to be first episode. We kind of like each other, and then second episode, all of a sudden, we're like, we're like That's that. It. Do you know what I mean? So it's yeah. yeah, yeah. They want to capture it naturally. So yeah. it's always being split up. Yeah. Always. We we're like naughty kids. Uh, so what, was there was there like ever a moment or like something that you guys had said in conversation? The producers were like, yeah, let's just do that one more time, and it's really awkward because I can imagine like obviously when you're flirting with each other and it's getting a little bit intense, you know, you might say something a bit, we might get a little bit sexual, a little bit naughty, whatever. Like, how awkward is that having to repeat it for camera? Once it's come out once, once you've plucked up that courage and then it's like, "Eh, yeah, say that again, mate. Yeah, well, actually, there's one particular scene when um, after he's gone, done his whole thing with Christina and we make Mm. up and I'm wearing that green shiny top from Pretty Little Thing, actually. Stunning. Um, So we had to redo that so many times because I kept laughing and Which one? do you remember that when I'm wearing the green top and you come over and interrupt mine and Christine's conversation oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> just kept laughing and I had we had to keep redoing it so I mean that's the only, only one I can think of yeah but to be honest we weren't like we weren't made to repeat things that often because I think they want it to be genuine authentic yeah. so like and even if they were like repeat it you can just be like no I'll, I'll just you know if, if they say oh we like that can you say it a different way so it's do not even put words no, in your mouth. They, like, it's, yeah. yeah, it's not scripted at all. Yeah, and I think people are quick to judge the show because it's shot so beautifully with these like it really is. like it's expensive amazing. cameras. People think, oh, it's staged, but it, it honestly isn't at all. No. It does look so amazing. It's one of the most impressive shows for like the location, like you say, the camera, the quality, the guests. I mean, the contestants, you're all pretty all right yourselves. Uh, they do well. It's a good show. Do you know what I mean? I can see where everyone watches it. Mm. I watched it in one weekend. Literally, no, one day I was really hungover. On hey, Sunday, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. And I sat in bed and watched every single episode. It's oh, like 10, good. 10 episodes. I bloody loved it. It was great. But so tell me, let's go to that moment. So it's all going so well. You know, you've got, couple couple goals in your eyes there Emily and then Christina walks in tell me yeah come at, you can you can start <laughs> if you like come like oh my god when I peered over that wall was watching them like a hawk on that day oh, I, I was be. like this is the end as I know it this is it oh. like that me and Cam are done for and I honestly was heartbroken and and yeah to watch them walk up arm in arm wasn't nice for any girl to see it, yeah, it was, it did pull at my heartstrings. And then for him to lie to my face, I went through the walls a little bit, didn't I? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, Cam, over to you. What have you got to say for yourself? I mean, the thing is, it's, um, I'm not going to justify what I did, but mm. everything I did, there was a reason behind it. It wasn't, you know, and I, I kept saying to her, like, you know, I'm not that much of, of a prick. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, that probably I didn't play it the best but like mm. 
it was there was all reasons for it. For me, I was very much quite scared of M. Not scared of her, but I'm like I was scared of commitment with her. And I saw Christina as like an op- like an opportunity to be like, okay, I can escape this mm-hmm. now. It's back to mm-hmm. back to all single cam. Don't have to worry about any commitment, or anything like that. Because you know, I knew yeah. I liked them already, and it was like, okay, that's that's scaring me. Yeah. Um, so for me, it was just kind of. Oh, Sorry, we've got a dog there's entering. A dog, a Wait, is it Twix? No, this is Lola. Oh, I'm like, Lola, Lola, come here. Hi, Lola. Let's see Lola. Come on, Lola, bring come the dog here. in. Bring the dog in. We like Lola, dogs. Come here. We like no, pets. Knock come on. Up. Don't bring her up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how? What? What dog is this? It's a lab. It's a lab. Oh my god, she's this is gorgeous. Not Twix, this is Lola. Wow, Lola, we love you. Oh Yay. my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, sneeze all over my face. Girl, that's okay. that's what she thinks of the whole Christina situation, Cam. So that's what you get for that. <laughs> no, I think I think oh just. My. I think just on that moment, like the way you were on the show and the way you did go about it in the end, Cam, and like even just the way you answered there, like I think I can really appreciate the honesty and you saying that, you know, it was kind of a defense mechanism maybe for you. And it's great yeah. to see you being so honest and open about that. Yeah, yeah. like I say, I'd never justify it because it was, even watching it back, I was like, not the best thing you could have done. But no, because I would never have done that to you. No, I don't think you would. It, no matter how good looking the guy was. No, and, and I, I know that. I know she actually wouldn't have done that to me. But for mm. yeah, for me, it was, yeah, it was an escape mechanism. It was just like, okay, escape mechanism, is that a thing? No, it was, a, it yeah, was an yeah, escape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I so for me, it was just like, so. I thought, okay, if at least if I get the upper hand and if M mugs me off, I've already mugged mm. her off. And it's, it's an immature way of looking at it. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't look at it like now, but that's how I did look at it at the time. And I guess it's like, I know I know it's not the nicest thing, Emily, and like I would have been, I'd have hated the situation, I'd have mm. gone crazy. But I guess it's kind of a test early on. Because you kind of, like, relationships do need to be tested sometimes before right. you go full throttle, I guess. Yeah. Did you and feel you know that what? way at all? I agree or? with you. And I actually do say in hindsight now, like, I'm glad that happened then rather than later on down the oh line. My God, oh, yeah, I'm, when I'm you... very glad it happened yeah. in, a, in a weird way. Yeah. In I'm... a weird, twisted way, I'm glad it happened. Yeah. Mm. And how many, how many, just out of interest, like how many days had it actually been there? Because again, like you said, it feels like it's been like one day and it's all so, you know, hot and intense with you guys. And then it's like the next day Christina walked in. So was it like a long kind of wait between Christina coming into the villa? Yeah, I think it was like a week and a half we were there. Wow. Yeah. yeah and then she came so in. It was a lot, a lot longer than you guys. Yeah. Than you guys mm. Yeah. And um. It makes it worse. I think that's yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And um, I actually, um, yeah, so Cam was in the doghouse, but he was actually in the doghouse for three nights and it only shows <gasps> one night. Ooh. He's in the doghouse for three whole nights. I thought you were really good, Emily. Like it's hard to it's hard to put someone in the doghouse, especially when you like them very much. So I think you yeah. did really well. Yeah. You oh, and I ground. needed a pet talk from the producers every day because I wanted to forgive really? him. And they're like, No, Emily, you're yeah. a strong, independent woman. Yeah, I was like, like Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm good. They're like, I'm, This is great good. drama. Yeah, I'm giving my words as well, aren't I? So we'd have chats and she'd be like, Yeah, but I want to forgive me about no, Em. Um, yeah. Like, Remember what he did to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, that's what they say to me every morning. Oh my God, yeah. that's tea. I'm glad that they had your back. I'm glad you yeah. had them there to have your back. Me too. In a weird way. And I think with all this kind of going on, Cam, you were branded a little bit of a fuckboy, weren't you? Oh, oh yeah. 100%. Yeah, 100%. That how, was... how did you feel about that? Like, it can't be nice, really. I guess in the beginning, it was kind of a bit of your persona, if you don't yeah. mind me saying. He but loves then it. later on. <laughs> no, for me. He loves it. For, what are you talking about? For me, it didn't bother me because, like, you know, while from like when the first four episodes aired and there was that weak gap, Everyone was like, oh, "I can't believe that's. Th- I can't believe you've done this to him. You know, you're a mm. fuck boy. You're this that." Mm. But obviously, I'm sat here, like I'm sat. I was sat there with them in her house, like living with her. So for me, I was like, God. "You'll all see. like." It was kind of like you will all see. It's like you know, I kind of if if that was where my reputation left after episode four, oh, that would not have been good at all. But I knew what was to come as well, so I wasn't really bothered by it in, mm. in a weird way. It's all part of the story. Yeah, of course. All part of the process. Lana's that's process, yeah. you know, that's what process. it is. Lana's process. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like actually watching it back, like sat at home? Like we now know that you guys were living together, you were having your secret relationship. So what was it like to be sat, you know, wherever you were watching all of that unfold again? Oh, hun, we had our first argument. <laughs> Tell me, what was yeah, it over? It Need was, to know. It was over episode four when he went on the date with Christina. Oh, that was our first ever argument. I, I, was, I remember we were actually doing something for work. It was like a, a premiere. And um, I was watching it in the queue because I needed to see it. And yeah, we just had our first argument. I lost it. I didn't lose it, but it's you just- You did lose it. I did lose it. <laughs> you did lose it. Um, <laughs> do you know what it was though? Like 
obviously I knew it was coming, mm. but actually watching it is a different thing. Mm. Like, and I just, yeah, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. And he didn't handle it very well either. He just kept saying to me, babe, get over it. It happened six months ago. No, I didn't think yeah, so. Yeah, you were. And it just it, wasn't it, helping it, me. It, it might, yeah, it might. I needed him to grab me, reassure me and say, Emily, look, I know, but it's, it's so long ago. I love you so much. I should have said that as well. No. So clarify, I didn't no. just go get over no. it. No. Like, my, my point <laughs> it sounded was, like that, Cam. It sounded point, like that. I was saying to her, I was like, you know, you know me now. Like, I live in your, mm. I live in your, like, with your family. You know, I chill with your nan in the days. I was like, Aww. you know I'm not that boy. But the point that I didn't get, which was... Obviously, I've, I've mugged her off on global TV and, yeah. and that's not a nice thing. Just and sometimes I have to take myself out of the situation and just see it from mm. her sometimes point of view. Sometimes he needs to not sometimes think about to, himself yeah, yeah. and has to think about other people. Yeah. And I thought, okay, if that was me and it was on the, it was on the you know, role reversal, I would be mm. like, oh, just mug me off on global yeah. TV. Like, it's not nice for anyone. So, but I wasn't, I wasn't getting that point in my head. Yeah. I was like, I, you know, I'm living in your ass, you know, what's wrong? But, yeah. you know, we... We resolved it. Yeah, we resolved it. We yeah. moved. Here we, we are, you know, yeah. they're happy guys. And do you know what? I just think like women and men do think very differently, don't yeah. we? Absolutely. Like, sometimes yeah. you've just got to remember that. And I think it, I think it's crazy that you said it was like six months later. So when did you actually film the whole series? When was it? Was it last year? Yeah, November, December. Jesus, wow, yeah. So I guess that is like such a long time for all those events to happen. Then it all just resurfaces and then feelings yeah. will just come back, won't they? That's, That's exactly it. it. it just, yeah. All the feelings real. that I felt that night came back. Well, not even that night, like that few days yeah. came back. Because mm. everyone's watching it, like everyone's watching it in that present moment with you. So they're all living it as it was six months ago. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. I think that obviously, yeah, yeah. Like you said, and then obviously, all my friends were texting me like, "What a dick!" And I was like, "Yeah, you know what? He is a dick." <laughs> yeah. And and did all you did all of your friends like know like what had happened? Like, did you have to keep it? I know you guys kept it secret from the kind of the public that you were together after the villa and everything. But like, did you were you like able to tell your friends? Did they all know what was going on? Yeah, yeah, friends yeah, and family yeah. were told because it, it was you couldn't keep that from the drama. Like, she's met all of my friends. I've met all of oh, hers. I love so that. it's. It wasn't something you could keep because it was kind of like you know you wanted to I I wanted to show my I wanted to meet my friends my family. Um, oh, so I love while that. it was secret, it was secret to her, like an, an inner, a trusted inner circle. Yeah, the inner circle. So what was the household like on that? Oh no, you were out, you were out watching it on your phone, weren't you? I was yeah. just thinking, yeah. what was the family thinking when that episode aired? Yeah, so when my mum saw that episode, she was sticking up for him. Oh, I think it's because, again, she she knew that... She knows. Like, she thought her, it was her, funny. Her, her mum doesn't have emotion attached to it. So her mum was just like, well, I know this boy is not the boy that was on the show she yeah. you know it was just yeah, yeah. his mum gave him more of a drill oh yeah my mum wasn't oh actually. really yeah, he, she was like how dare you do that to my Emily she was, <gasps> like, I said, she was like I said one thing to you before the show that, that was not to be addicted to girls and what have you gone and done and I was like sorry mum <laughs> right in the doghouse yeah. <laughs> that'd be a really interesting part of the show if your parents could actually ring up and like say you know, you're being a dick. Stop. That would be really... I'd like, I'd like to see that happen on TikTok. Yeah, there you go, that. producers. If anyone's listening, that could be an interesting <laughs> one. <laughs> to see what they're really like, I could just imagine you in that moment like, oh my God. Like, you just... Yeah, you don't need that. But yeah. so the kind of like purpose of the show or like the premise of the show is to refrain from any sexual contact, any intimate contact for, you know, the amount of time that you're there to win this ultimate cash prize. Was it $100,000? So obviously money got spent. Um, how hard is it actually not to, I mean, you guys said, was it the first night or the first, the three nights in? How hard is it not to actually jump into bed with each other or whatever mm, way? Very hard. <laughs> I think, the, do you know, the hardest thing actually was not kissing. That was mm. the weird thing because like you naturally go to do it when you like someone, you just naturally go to kiss them. Like anything sexual has a bit more thought and yeah, like planning yeah. behind it. Do you know what I mean? You don't just accidentally start, you know, doing that. Yeah. So like, when, when you, you naturally go to kiss someone and we'd always literally go to do it and be like, oh, like, and we'd Yeah, and then generally we'd be like, shit, no, we can't do yeah, that. Yeah, so that, that was probably the hardest yeah. thing. I, feel like that's, I know we lost, we broke a few rules, but then rules mm. we broke were just through kissing and I feel like that's just because it was just so natural. Oh, a few other things as well, I don't know about that. Well, I mean, yeah, let, let's just let's just go there because there was obviously the famous crab grab. Now, I'd never heard of a crab grab before. I, I did ask it. <laughs> Wait, let, let's do the actions camera. Can I all see what, what is the crab grab? This is the crab. It's, that. So it's, it's not a full crab. It's literally it's, just a little bit of a. It's just nibble. when you pinch the tip, like grab <laughs> yeah, the tip. Yeah. I just pulled the foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely what will go out on the Instagram, guys. I'm obsessed. This is the moment. Uh, but so, so a little birdie tells me that there was more than the crab grab. I heard there was um, a little bit more that maybe Lana and maybe we didn't see. Oh, Emily, come <laughs> back in, hon. Come on, we're not. You're not leaving here. I've got the tea. 
Let's yeah, well, where, where, where have you heard that from? Yeah, who's, yeah. who's this little bit? Do you know what? <laughs> our producers are just so clever. They just whisper in my ear like, yeah. They've yeah, been telling okay, me all so, sorts. Listen, you've got to try before you buy. I mean, that is that is a good point. Like, you don't buy a car without test driving it first. Thank you. So yeah. there's no way I, we were going to let that happen. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I would. I, I wouldn't count it. But if I'm honest, yeah. I mean, I yeah. Really wasn't good. Or oh, fun, oh, really? Right. Care to explain? <laughs> I mean, no. You know, we're not going to expand on that. We're going to leave it with you know your, when, imag- you with know your when imagination. You know, when spooning leads to forking. Yeah. It's just like a little you cheeky, know, yeah, cheeky, moment. cheeky little fork. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Come, you don't seem too pleased with, with the whole situation. Uh, you know, I think that's what caused his blue balls. Yeah. Right. Okay. So it, it wasn't. It, was, it yeah. wasn't fun for me at all. Yeah, it wasn't a good time for him. No. It Got wasn't you. A good time for me, that. I get where you're going there, but Lana didn't catch you. No. No, I mean you should... she didn't have her glasses on. Yeah, she must have. She must have been sleeping. Yeah, she must have. Been I love sleeping. that. I love that. So, she's how many, up. like, how many other moments? I know that obviously you guys got away with some moments there. How many moments were missed by Clara and the, and the actual like show what we saw? Oh, probably like a hundred. Nah, not no, not a hundred. Come on, this is the bus here. no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't a hundred no. at all. No, I know for obviously now coming off the show. People have told us that they got away. Yeah, with stuff. everyone's got their own little stories. How true they are, or like you know the details mm. of it, we don't really know. So yeah, but I think there are, there is a few. Yeah, well, I'm, a few. I'm happy to know that you guys, you know, got to get away with some stuff. I think you've, it's got to be done at the end of the day. I it's a hard well task. Deserved. You guys did well. You did so well. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. This is literally what everybody asks. Like, do you think they actually managed to get away with things on this show? And I'm like, yeah, we're just gonna have to find out, guys. You know. Lana. You heard it here first. <laughs> so how much money did you actually end up losing in the end? Were you the highest, what would you call it, losers? I think spenders. We the highest, I think spenders, we were the highest spenders bad. because I think Marvin was, but then he obviously, he, they earned it back. So oh, yeah. that leaves yeah. us as the highest spenders. Yeah, I think we were. We're definitely up there. Uh, you I think would... we got 20 something grand, 20 yeah. something, I don't know. 24. Uh, 24 deal. Obviously, I, but yeah. with that money, I genuinely just wish we actually just done the deed. I know. Well, that's it. To lose twenty four grand over a crab grab and a, a few kisses. fork <laughs> and a little fork or whatever, you know, it's a, it's a lot of money. But you know, would you say it was well spent? I would. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, now I'd never spend three grand for a kiss. But <laughs> yeah, no, if it's oh, your no. money, it's, it's a no. <laughs> if you asked a random person on the street, "Oh, do you want to kiss someone for three grand?" Any rational human being would go. <laughs> No, absolutely. Who, who, who does that? But yeah, I'll spend three k for a kiss with you. Would you? I do you know actually? It's so funny. We perfected <laughs> the art of air kissing when we were on that show. Yeah, Wait, because, stop. Yeah, because we always want to kiss, but we'd have to be like. We should do that. Get, get as close was, as you can. I was going to say you're going to have to demonstrate for the people watching. You have to yeah. demonstrate. But you did, I feel like you did a TikTok on that as well, didn't you? A similar TikTok. There was a nice little moment oh, there. Oh, you know, I was, yeah, I did that little um, Love wait, that. wait in a lifetime. Oh, wait in a week. Yeah, yeah, that was gorgeous. Yeah. And then, yeah, he comes in. That was very cute. Guys, I was so very proud of myself for that one. Yeah, it was a, ve- it was a very, one. very good video. So where were we? Let's go back to kind of, I think you've established that some little sneaky business went on behind Lana's back and behind our backs as well. But I wondered... Did anything else like big happen that we didn't see? Like arguments, drama, because like you say, little bits are produced. Was there anything that we really didn't see? Chase and Marvin arguing over French fries. Stop. <laughs> yeah, they had an argument in the kitchen. <laughs> they had an argument in the kitchen over French fries. Yeah, I think it was the last day. Everything. Everyone there was, was just... the last day. It was like... Four days from the last day. Yeah, it was towards the end. <laughs> Everyone was just quite stressed, tired, and there was a legit argument over American compared to like French food. Yeah. And then they were arguing. Chase was French trying food. to say that American food was better, and Marvin was saying that French food is better. Uh, oh my just, god! And, and then and then why they're called French fries? And it was just it was just so crazy. And then so security, like one of the CLT team was like, security, please <laughs> come in. Really, that it bad? Was so- Bizarre. Yeah, they're yeah. probably like square, like these, these six no, foot that, five guys. That, that was the last day because it was on the day of the vote. That was, was, it? was, the, it was the last day. No, it wasn't the last day. No, it was the last it day. Wasn't the last no, it was. Day. It was the day of the vote. It wasn't. Oh, it was. It, it was. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I it know happened. it was the day of the vote. To be honest, it's it sounds like moment. drama, but over some French fries, boys, come on. What like yeah. there was a lot worse things going on, surely. 
What happened to French fries over garlic? <laughs> exactly. Well, is, I thought exactly. I thought it was, I was quite happy with the argument because it was it was on the last day because the vote happened and I thought oh, perhaps he's going to vote for me because the whole the whole French fries argument. <laughs> I thought this is going to go in my favour. He's going to vote for Cam. He's going to vote for Cam instead because. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all for the French fries. It's like a political America, so. race. Like you're being really nice towards the end of it. Cause it's like, yeah, I need to get all these votes in. I'm counting these votes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were gutted when you didn't win. We were, and I mean, we want to talk about that in a minute. So we're going to go on to your YouTube video. And we've got some comments from that. Actually, it's quite juicy. But like, we were gutted that you didn't win. I think, I thought you were robbed. I thought you should have won. I think it's a common, I, th- I think it's a common opinion. On yeah. I've seen it, I've seen it many of times, yeah. I think you should have won too, and that's not even me being biased. I'm going to go into, how did you feel not winning in that, in that situation after kind of all the growth and all the progress and everything? Like, for me, it was, I don't know, like, obviously, you'd want to win, but mm. it, it wasn't the be all and end all. I was not that bothered because, for me... I found them. I, I left with them. So honestly, for me, that was that was all the matter. Like she's worth more, much more than you won pay. anyway. Like, the, you won the, M. The, the, yeah. Yeah. It was. It was like the money. Obviously, would have been nice. Like around fifty five k would be nice. But <laughs> yeah. in my eyes, I've won. And God. you know, for people to say, "Oh, Cam, you know, you should have won." For me, that mm. that's enough. That's yeah. enough. Pe- yeah. People make their own minds mm. up about about who they want to win. I, I'm never bitter about it, really. I like that. Okay, and this might be a daft question. Prepare yourselves. What was the first thing you guys did when you got home? <laughs> um, I think we went to M and S. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> we actually went to M and S. Actually, no, wait, no, no, no. Well, we joined the Mar High Club. Oh, we did that. Yeah, we both joined the Mar High Club. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. I think around the floors is in is in favour. Yeah, yeah, that was that. fun. Like, <laughs> Not everyone like joins the Mar High Club. I think that's some pretty big news. That well yeah, done. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. I always forget about that. Yeah. I legit, How yeah, can you it, forget? It, it, so that was the first proper time, I guess. I mean, it was on the plane home from from Fantastic. the. Air, so, well, obviously, yeah. that is what the Mile High Club is. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I'm just saying, but maybe there was another plane involved. I'm just, I'm just clearing this up for people. Um, so confused. So no, the first thing we did, we actually took a trip to M and S. Yeah, love it. Um, we bought, we bought, got, and we just bought loads of shit we, to we, cook in the oven. Mm. We hadn't cooked for like six weeks, so like we, we was really confused. Stood in the middle of M and S, like what, what, what do we do? With How this do stuff? we feed we, ourselves? We'd been like mothered. Yeah, yeah, we'd yeah. We'd been mothered for the past six weeks, yeah. so we just stood there like, oh, what do we do? <laughs> bought the weirdest of stuff, like chicken dippers, red mm. cabbage. Yeah, like it, I think How it was do like. You remember that? Good memory, I told you this. It was like I think it was like a Christmas party food selection. We just yeah, because it's it just for oh, Christmas. Yeah. Wow, yeah. this is the thing. I forget how long ago it was. Again, you literally told me before. That's mad. Yeah, mm. but then obviously besides that, we, yeah, we did have sex like seven times a day for a week. Jesus, I mean that's some good going. That's a pretty good yeah. stamina mm. from you both. <laughs> my nickname for his by his friends is Rabbit. <laughs> Yeah, my, my friend was legit worried about me. Like, he pulled me to the side when M was over because I was, I was living with my housemate at the time. And he was like, I think it's a bit too much now. He was like, I'm actually like, are you all right? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I was like, I'm all right. He was like, yeah, but it's a lot. Yeah, I mean, isn't it? And, I think that's above average, to be fair. Yeah, no, it was. Oh, yeah. it, it oh, was, oh hun, there's nowhere near that now. It, it, oh, no. Oh, God. No. Been looking that a month. <laughs> yeah, oh, la, la. we've been having sex a lot recently, thank you. Good, um, good on. Do you know what? You deserve it. You were sh- deprived. You were deprived exactly. of that villa. So, exactly. Yeah. It was a, we had a lot of making up to do. That's it, yeah. exactly. All them days accounted for. I, I don't blame you. Well done, guy. <laughs> so that's some bloody good going. But so what is it like being out of kind of too hot to handle and being a real life couple now? Because I guess it must feel really surreal when you are in that environment to come home to England and be back to the normal shitty cold weather and your real lives. Like what's it? Oh, your new real lives, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. It, when we were out there, it was like, you know, sunny. We had no worries. Holiday romance. It was just all stress-free and... Coming home, we've had to be quite we, we, normal. We, we've had to again. be normal and also get to know each other from a point of like, okay, she's stressed about like he's stressed about money, she's stressed about this, he's mm. stressed about that, and like get I to, stress get, over your bad driving. Get to know, like yeah, you get to know what what it's like to be like to be in the normal world together. Yeah. Um, but we have just been very supportive. Of yeah, each other. do you know what? It's actually evolved very naturally. Yeah, it has. Um, there's been no pressure, you know, no. and we are just genuinely best mates. I love that. Yeah. I love that. I think you can see that as well. Like, I know, like, we see it on social media, but sitting with you here now, like, I can fully see it. So I'm very glad, like, very good to see this. We're oh, obsessed. Yeah. You make it even more obsessed. Can you chill out, guys? Wow. <laughs> Perfect couple. We just don't need that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We love it. We love it. So w- when you came out of the villa, 
And obviously you'd gone through you kind of like six months of waiting for the show to kick off. Emily, I remember looking at your social media maybe a month ago and I think I saw you on like 300K followers on Instagram. You're now on 1.5 million and it's going to be higher than this when this episode goes out. Jesus. And and you, yeah. Pam, like bloody hell. I mean, congratulations. How is that? Like you're blowing up. Thank you. Yeah, like actually, what's the date? 13th. What the so date? 13th of June. That a month ago, I was on 7K followers. Seven? Yeah. 7K. We started up. We started, we started, we started the lowest. lowest. I had three. I had 3,000 followers. We started literally bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so to go from seven to that, like you say, one point five is mental. Like, it's crazy. I I do not know why one point five million people want to follow me. Listen, one point. I hope one point five million people want to sit and listen because I know that everybody is going to be dying for this. But on that note, do you know? I haven't actually gone and looked. Do you know if you're like the highest followed cast member? Oh, of course, honey. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yes! M's first. I'm just truly behind a second. Do you know yeah. what? You're both doing really well. You both. I mean, that picture when you announced, and we'll go on to that in a minute. When you announced the relationship, Jesus Christ, did that go off? That was yes. silly. Like, I think I got more likes to followers. Like, <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Like, and the reach that picture got was insane. Uh, like, I think mine was like six million people wow. reached. Yeah, it was wow. Crazy. Is it? Is it really surreal being in this kind of bubble right now? Yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. A good surreal, though, like a very good surreal. You both seem very happy, so I'm very glad. And when you did announce the relationship, so we need to talk about that a little bit. So obviously there was the the YouTube video announcing, but Cam, we thought you asked Emily to be your girlfriend on the show. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I did. So so what kind of oh. what kind of happened like afterwards? Was it kind of like you had to keep it a secret when you came out? Because we never, I don't think we actually saw an answer on the show, did we, in the last episode? Yeah. Yeah, she said. Are you yeah. joking? I kicked over the chair and grabbed him. I was like, oh my god! Well, I don't know if you've watched it as well as you think you have. Wait, uh, I'm gonna have to go back. Maybe it's because I was so hungover. But I mean, I was watching. Yeah, no. So I, I was wearing that red dress and went on the lovely day. And it was oh, so yes. beautiful and romantic. And um, yeah, that's when he asked me. But then yeah. you kind of had to keep it under wraps whilst the show. Yeah. Oh yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was hard, and to be honest, we were the only two people that really. I mean, Rob and Christina, but you know, they were living together. We were in a little world of our own because we had to keep this. Oh my god. We, like we had to keep this a secret, and even like, it was fine up until the show aired, and as soon as the show aired, that's when like the detectives came out. Mm. We had to be really careful with what we did. Yeah. Before that, you can kind of get away with putting a picture up with the same wallpaper. It's fine. But then people go full detective, start going through your tags, your stories, yeah. everything. Like that's the same wallpaper, yeah. that's the same edge of a chair. Yeah, they'd like screenshot of two pictures at one of ours and be like, "That's the same corner of that corner." Oh, oh my I, god! I love it though. Like, I, yeah, it'd I, make we, us chuckle. We, we'd watch them and we'd be like, yes, they, they, they <laughs> "People piecing it together." I love that. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that must be wild. Like literally, you've gone in basically normal people to this, you know, villa, this house, and then you've come out and you've got people literally watching you every move. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it is bizarre. Yeah, it but is mental. And yeah. and so well, me- go on. Go on. No, I said like mentally. I think we both prepared for it. Like we were, we were ready for it. Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah. glad because you, you do seem to be handling it really, really well, and like just embracing it and enjoying it, and that's just great to see. Mm. Yeah. And so the YouTube video was obviously a moment, and I've actually got some comments here from the YouTube video. They're not too savage. Don't worry. Well, from our YouTube video. From your YouTube. Oh, we weren't trailing through that. I mean, all of the comments are like beautiful. They're literally like, Emily, you're so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with you two. Like they are the nicest comments ever, but we had to pick some some out. There's actually some really nice comments on there. Like some actually like very nice ones. I love that. Yeah, that's This is the thing. You are are loved. Everybody is obsessed with you two. So, I mean, keep doing it. Oh God, I'm interested in hearing these now. What are these? Okay, well, well, I think (laughs) think we've kind of established this one, but one of them was, I can't believe they became the most mature couple and grew the most, but still didn't win. I saw that one. I love that one. Yeah. I think I think I replied to that one. I did you that, reply yeah. to that? I love that. I did actually see you guys replying. That is really good. Well, that was the kind of the question. Were you fuming? We answered that before. We were all fuming, I think. Okay, <laughs> this is a good one. Now, I know that you've been getting badgered for this. Um, this is, we need to talk to you. We need you to talk about the whole Chase story. You knew you were going to get uh, asked this one. I'm really sorry. Yeah, so... The thing is, it's, it's not that deep. Basically, what happened was, like, two days before our, we were allowed to come out as, you know, a couple and say that we're in a relationship, he just started making weird, like, fake clout TikToks, being like, oh, Em's coming to see me, I'm with Em. And I was just like, fair enough, do what you've got to do, but don't... Like, for me, mm. I was like, you can make all the personal kind of banter you want with me, mm. that's fine. But, like, 
my girlfriend is a real thing. It's not something that is fake or that I've carried from a reality show. It's like, she's my girlfriend. Mm. So it was like, why, what you, as a mate, I wouldn't have done that. So mm. it's just like, I get it though. Do you know what I, mean? I get it. It was probably a good business move for him to, you know, get a bit more engagement. But I was just like, what's the point? You've got a hundred other mm. things you can make a TikTok about. Why have you come at my girlfriend? A little yeah. bit petty. And it's so out of the blue as well. Like, me oh. and Chase never talk. Yeah. It's not even like they had a story. Like, we were honestly as confused as everyone else. Like, I remember we both watched it and we were like, eh? Like, like what? Yeah. Wait, is this, I woke up to a message one morning from him going, hey, butthead. And I was like, eh? And, that was and the then I realised that was what he used on the TikTok. Oh, no way. So confused. Yeah. I was honestly baffled. Okay, but that's kind of, so there was nothing obviously going on there, which I think we all knew. I think everybody watching it, but I think, yeah, when that came out, everyone was just a bit like, what's going on? So I can imagine for you guys, it's even worse. Yeah, yeah it's it was just confusing. like, again, it was before, before like, we'd waited six, seven months mm. to come out as a couple, and now you're kind of trying to steal the limelight like, a little bit. And that, that, that's what annoyed me the most, It's just like, this is such a big moment mm. for us. And I was so excited to like, you know, tell the world she's my girlfriend that it was like, what what are you doing here? Do you know what? I feel but, like he didn't steal steal the limelight though, guys. You're owning it. You're fully owning that space. So Thank sorry, you. Chase. It's not happening, hon. Now the <laughs> final one. Okay, now this this has kind of changed recently, actually. Um, now no shade from us whatsoever. I'm just reading this out from YouTube. Somebody wrote, "Please don't end up like Fran and Harry." I mean, I like that, I said, I no that, shade. I read that, I read that no one, shade. So, yeah. How do you feel about that one? Um, I mean. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna. No, we're, there's, there's we're together forever, like legit. So it's like, the real it's deal. This is the, what's it's that? The real deal. Yeah, legit. Yeah. Like we wouldn't have done this if it wasn't gonna be a forever thing. No, like yeah, there's, there's a lot more longevity. In us. Yeah, and like, like you know, I even said, you know, when I've interviews and stuff, I said, you know, this is the girl I want to spend the rest of my life with. It's not. Yeah. It's not like oh, get you know, get some brand deals, do this mm. and that. It's like no, this is like yeah. legit real for us. And I feel like we're different to Fran and Harry because they had a long distance thing going on. Yeah. Mm. So whereas we live together, so, and I feel like our trust is a lot yeah, deeper definitely. than their trust. Yeah. Um. So yeah, like, I trust him with my life. So yeah. I know he'd. And I know he never broke my heart. We love to see it. Now, something I love to hear is um, a little bit of gossip again, inside info. Cam, I hear you're quite the singer. I hear uh, Cam has yeah. written a song about Emily, guys. Yeah. Oh, we're always oh, watching, yeah. Huns. We're always here. Let's, you know, I'd love to hear a bit. I don't know whether you're familiar, but everybody likes to sing on this podcast. So, you know, I think really? it'd be, oh, oh, we I'm have, we have singing. Sing this. It's a time and a place, and I know when I'm going to drop it all. I've got a little plan in my head, but right now, on is not a uh, lot of time. But, but yeah. it's so cute. I know every single one. Wait, can you, can can Emily spill a bit, or is it all staying under wraps? Yeah, all under wraps. Oh. It's a very, like thing is, mu music is what I want to go into. So that's wow. that for me. That's my like my dream job. Yeah, I, I that's a very it. personal thing. Yeah, it's, 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 it's yeah. So like in the villa, I didn't even know he could sing until way, way, way after the villa. He never yeah. sung in the villa. He's so shy. I was always really shy about it, and the show just gave me that confidence to be like, okay, Cam, do something with this because I've been writing songs for ages, oh like God. for the last for like five years. Um, and then I was like, okay, do something with this. I'm gonna be in the studio doing bits, of, like doing bits here and there. And I was like, okay. I, I can do this like this is and, and it, uh, it makes me so happy so it's definitely like watch this space it will, yeah. be, it will be something I promise do you know what I'm actually so it's so like amazing to hear that because I think this is the thing you can go on these kind of like this you've got this platform and this is definitely your opportunity to go and just follow your dreams and do whatever you want to do guys live I can't your best wait life, um, live your best life on exactly you do you we'll be supporting you from PLT so let us know when it's out because we're yeah. going to be tweeting oh, that like I can't love wait that, love that. I cannot wait you fully got the support all the girls are going to be going crazy for that song yes, or whatever. You know? <laughs> we'll all have it on repeat so good luck with everything going on there and Thank you. What is kind of next for you guys from here? Like, I know obviously, Cam, you've just said you want to release a bit of music, but Emily, what's on the cards? What are you hoping to kind of do next? So, obviously, I've got some brand deals going on, which is exciting. And um, we've got our YouTube channel. Yes. Which is also exciting. We've got lots of fun ideas mm. we want to do. Um, and also, actually, funny enough, I want to get my own podcast. Tell well, there you go. She's done. She's done a podcast today, guys. She's ready. I feel like I'm legit. I've been listening today in, before my podcast virginity. I've always like since 
been on the show, I've wanted to do it. Yeah, you'd, be um, you'd be amazing. So, yeah, that's my dream. And then I also want to work with animals. You know, I want to have my own sanctuary for dogs and cats. Wow. So there's a yeah, there's a couple of things I want to I want to do. This is so exciting. Please, like, I want to I want to come and visit this sanctuary. I'm obsessed with dogs and cats. Yes, so exactly. I'd yeah. be there. I'd be yeah, there. Yeah, and we'll be listening. We'll be listening out for your podcast. Like, good luck with all of that. That is really really exciting. I know Thank you'd be amazing, you. and everybody would love to listen to that. Have you got a name in mind yet? Not yet. It's a work in progress. <laughs> so exciting. So exciting. Now, what was your kind of like favorite experience that you'll take away from the whole, apart from, of course, each other? And I'm sure you probably, that is the answer. But what was your favorite experience from Too Hot to Handle? Ooh. Oh, Mine would have to be witnessing Nathan in a rhino costume. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was a scream. <laughs> I'm pitching it now with that big horn. Yeah, those jokes. I love that. Um, what would mine be? Maybe the work short talking to your dick. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe that. That I, I have to admit, I did like that workshop. Really? As weird as it, as weird as it was, mm. I was all for it. I was like, yeah, let's just get stuck in. Let's get deep. Mm. Um, you know, the monk Keith, Keith loved it. You know, <laughs> he, he, he was loving it. So, yeah, probably the the manhood boys workshop for me was. Uh, I love that. I love that. Well, we love to watch it. We love to watch you both on Too Hot to Handle. Honestly, it was a journey for us watchers. I'm sure it's even more of a journey for you guys. You were amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Now you're gonna have to rewatch it. I'll have rewatch our dating yeah, scene. I'm, I'm, yeah, gonna, have, I'm gonna have to go back. I have nine. definitely watched that scene. I'm gonna go back and watch it again tonight, and I'm gonna correct <laughs> yeah, myself. I'm not hungover this time. I'm not hungover. Just <laughs> I'm fresh sorry. head. I mean, honestly, I think I've been hungover for every day for the past God knows how long. <laughs> oh, good girl, good girl. <laughs> it's been Love awful. That. Now, before you do, you guys do go. I wondered if we could play a really quick game of Mister and Mrs. Are you familiar? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, Mister and Mrs. We've got another little game here. Got another little cue card. Okay. Yeah, I love a game. So it's really quick fire. Um, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. Who's more romantic? Me. I think you. Yeah. Who said I love you first? Yeah. Me. Who has the worst habits and what are they? Me. You. Pissing on the toilet seat, <laughs> leaving all the lights on, driving like a granny. Um, <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah. Get more light system. Yeah, all right, carry on. Jesus, driving like a granny I think, I think driving like a granny is my favourite I mean this is the thing when you go into the real world you learn these things about each other do you know what I mean that's what yeah. happens I even had to send him a picture this morning I've still got it on my phone of his skid marks on the toilet <laughs> and I've said what are these right, what right, are these right in my defence her toilet is really badly made oh, like stop it. I'm I can't I can't I can't have a shit without making the marks because it's just, it's in the worst position ever. So I blame the toilet. Oh, there we go. Got it. Oh, oh my there. God. There's a that... shit skid on the it's toilet not, for the podcast. Do you know what? Do you know what I mean? That's a it? first on this podcast. Thank you. Um, we've, we've lost our shit skid virginity on the podcast. Great. Oh, love that. Love that. Love that. We're just going to screenshot that and post it all over and over the internet. <laughs> Perfect. Use that as a thumbnail. Perfect. <laughs> Cam's shit on camera. Fantastic. <laughs> You can sell that on eBay. Yeah. Someone will have that, to be fair. Right, yeah. where were we? Where were we? Who's more obsessed with social media? Me. Who's most outgoing? Me. No. Oh, stop it. No. Stop. I think it's Whatever. Me. I think we're going to have arguments after this. Okay, this is great. <laughs> Since you're living together now, who makes the most mess? No, it's you. What are you all about? You're the most Oh, yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. 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 Come on, me like that. <laughs> <laughs> who likes I mean I guess you can't really answer this that much like it's not really normal right now but who likes a night out the most me uh, no that is very normal love that yeah, love me. that um who's the most who's mostly I can't read right now who's the most likely to plan a spontaneous date I said me oh no, I, I think me. that's 50 50 I think me. that's 50 /50. Oh, I like that Never. that's nice <laughs> You're not agreeing with that, Cam, no? No, to be fair, actually, to be fair, I will see you because she Thank took you. she took me to Harry Potter Studios and I didn't know anything about it. Yeah. I thought she was taking me skydiving and I shit myself. I was like, I was like, not today. I was Bit like, of a contrast day, there. Not, I was like, yeah. not today. I don't know why he even thought it's that. because your, your mum said to me, you're, you're not scared of heights, are you? And that rattled me. I was, I was oh, going yeah. out the door. It's my mum's fault. I was like, I can't be doing this today. I was like, we got a show coming out. I was like, what if I die? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Imagine that. Oh my God, okay. Dreadful for press. Who buys the most clothes? Uh, Girl after my own heart. And the final question, who's the worst influence? 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and do you know what, guys? We're going to end the podcast with that. You two have been so much fun. Highlights for me is definitely the shit in the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't a highlight for me, but yeah. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> thank you so so much for joining us today on PLT Behind Closed Doors. Oh, thank Honestly. you. Thank you so much for having us. Hopefully, so hopefully we can meet you guys in person and do this all again. Oh, well, like, if you want a part definitely. two, listeners, let us know because I know that you guys are going to have loved this as much as I have. Now I'm going to let you go away to your nights because I know you're really busy. So good luck with absolutely everything that you've got coming up. I know you're just going to blow up even more so. So congrats on everything. Oh, thank you. We so love much. you guys from Ma- PLT. Yeah. Okay, bye. Care, See you later, bye. guys. And to everybody watching and listening at home, thank you so much. This has been the PLT Podcast starring Cam and Emily. We'll see you next week.